What's up guys, my name is Brad. Thank you for joining into another video. I appreciate each and every one of you. On today's video, what I wanna talk about is a project that I've been wanting to do for a while. Basically, that's gonna be an aluminum machined TIG welding consumable tray that holds everything you need at your bench for TIG welding. Now, depending on what part of the welding industry is and kind of your scope of practice when it comes to gas tungsten and arc welding, it really just determines what consumables you're actually gonna end up using on your torch. You're gonna have everything from people just running basic standard cups in the welding industry to some gas lens cups, but small diameter, not quite a flood cup. Then you're gonna have huge Pyrex cups and ceramic cups that are up to number 20 in size. And they're just massive cups for welding exotic alloys. So we're gonna jump on the computer. We're gonna kind of dive into the CAD and CAM side of things. I'm gonna explain the design for you. And then we're gonna jump straight into machining. Also, I know these glasses are super annoying and really reflective. I will get that changed. Alrighty, so let's jump into this. Basically, this is the 3D model that I designed around the TIG consumable tray. You have these eight holes, these six posts and a pocket. So basically, all of these posts are going to be threaded with 916-18 threads. These holes will be threaded with 516-24 threads. Everything's gonna be chamfered. We're gonna be using a 60 thou corner radius, half inch three flute tool to rough all this out. So all these lower edges and these pockets will have a 60 thou radius in them. We'll be drilling these holes out, applying a little bit of texture on top with a quarter inch ball end mill. And we can go through the process of what tools we're gonna to be using for what real quick. First, we're gonna face off 10 thousandths so we have a nice face on the top of these posts. Then we're gonna adaptive clear all of this material come in with a 2D pocket op to clean up the floors. We're gonna 2D contour around the outside of this part. Then we're gonna drill these holes and then drill these holes. And then we're gonna tap here, thread mill the outside of these posts with a .490 cutting diameter thread mill. We're gonna chamfer all of this stuff with a 30 thou chamfer, come back around the outside with a 60 thou chamfer. Then we're gonna run a parallel tool path here for some texture on top and then trace around these posts so we can kind of complete that parallel tool path. We just need to get some stock cut and jump into the machine. All right, so we cut our piece of 6061 T6 on the saw. This is an inch and a half thick, eight inches long, four inches wide, and this is what we're gonna cut our tray from. So we're gonna go ahead and get our stock in this center vise and get it clamped down. This is where these MMM quick vice handles come into play here. It makes this a million times easier. So they are not for torquing, they're just for turning. So we'll get our actual handle on here and torque these jaws down. Alrighty, so now that we actually have our piece of stock in the vise, we're gonna use this tool which is a 3D edge finder, it's called the Hymer, and it will allow you to find your X, Y, and Z zero, all without the use of a traditional edge finder or using a gauge block to get your Z height on your tools. It's accurate within two tenths, plenty accurate for what I do. Pretty cool, right? Doing all this 3D modeling here in Fusion 360, doing all the computer animated manufacturing here in 360. We're posting that out to a Fidal VMC. Here's the finished product. We have 916, 18 threaded posts, holes for your collets, a little pocket for some tungsten. We have some 516, 24 threaded holes here. Those are for your back caps as well as your gas lens collet bodies. Now for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna do the back side, but typically I would just face this off, put a couple of pockets in with some threaded holes for some magnets to recess down into. Then you could pop this guy wherever you wanted to. What you just watched in the last few minutes took me the majority of the day to try and trip around the camera and get it all done, but I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a long day. 
I'm gonna get out of here, but if you enjoyed this video, please hit that subscribe button, like this video. Thank you so much, we'll see you later.